Hey guys, it's Wednesday, October 19th. I'm Mary and you're watching GameSpot News. If yesterday's GS News was like the party, then today's is kind of like the hangover. It's not very good. Because today we found out that the Darksiders remaster is delayed. That's right, THQ Nordic announced today that Darksiders War Mastered Edition, the remaster of the original Darksiders, will not launch on October 25th as previously announced. The publisher confirmed that the game has been delayed to November 22nd for physical and digital copies, both on the PS4 and Xbox One. The remastered edition will launch that date digitally for Wii U, with a physical version to follow at a later stage. Besides the delay, not much else has changed. The $20 War Mastered Edition aims to improve upon the original 2010 action-adventure game in a number of ways. First up, it's going to run at native 1080p on consoles. It also hits 60fps on PS4, Xbox One, and PC, although Wii U is limited to 30 frames. Players can also expect better shadow rendering quality and new post-processing effects, among other improvements. More bummer news, the developer behind Sleeping Dogs has shut down, and their current game isn't even for sale anymore. United Front Games, who you might know from Sleeping Dogs, closed its doors. Their first title was Mod Nation Racers, a PS3 exclusive kart racing game. It had a large focus on user-generated content. Then they made 2012's Sleeping Dogs, which is what they were pretty much known for. And then after that, Little Big Planet Karting, several port projects, and the Cancel Triad Wars. The Vancouver-based studio was in the midst of developing Smash and Grab, an early access game that was on Steam. It featured players ransacking stores and looting items. As of now, you can't buy Smash and Grab. It was free this past weekend as part of a promotion on Steam, where players could pay a discounted price of 17 bucks, and then they could keep playing after Sunday. It's unclear what's going to happen to Smash and Grab and its players now that it's no longer for sale. We've contacted United Front, and we're going to keep you updated when we hear back. Do you ever wonder what would happen if you combined the powers of Pokemon Go with Sun and Moon? Besides magic? Because it might actually happen. <sighs> There's a demo out now for Pokemon Sun and Moon on the Nintendo 3DS. And it's got people thinking, what would happen if there was a crossover? GameSpot's Justin Haywald spoke to Nintendo's Junichi Masuda, a longtime developer and composer on the Pokemon franchise, who's currently working as a producer on Sun and Moon. When asked whether the team is still working on bringing Pokemon Sun and Moon and Pokemon Go together, he said it's definitely not off the table. We're still thinking about the best way to establish this kind of connectivity and what the best timing will be. First, we just want people to enjoy Sun and Moon after they come out. Then we'll keep working on ideas to best accomplish that. We have the full interview up with even more insight from Masuda, as well as Sun Moon director Shigeru Omori, regarding the upcoming 3DS title, Legendary Pokemon, and the continuing Pokemon Go craze. You can find it on GameSpot. And that's all I have for you today, but check back tomorrow for more GameSpot news.